A glimmer of mysterious fiery light unveils the jewelry art piece Fantasia. Featuring the legendary creature Unicorn, this piece of treasure is formed by 106.94 carat fire opal, diamond, 24 carat yellow gold, 18 carat white gold, and petrified wood. The spectacular piece debuted at the 36th edition of the Hong Kong International Jewelry Show held in the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center, giving jewelry lovers a glimpse of the new collector grade brand, Artrium. Artrium itself is a brand which is which has two general directions in terms of creativity. One is uh, mythical and beauty, because beauty is obviously the core of what jewelry is about. And it's also a, a creative direction that allows us to do a lot of things. Ultimately, we want each piece to be a collectible work of art, because we're addressing uh, collectors. We're addressing people who know jewelry uh, for many years now, many generations. As a whole, we felt that this unique piece was a very good way to introduce for the first time Artrium, which is for the first time present in this uh, jewelry show. Also presenting for the first time was a Japan Pearl Pavilion. As the partner country this year, Japan debuted the pavilions at the International Jewelry Show and its companion event, the sixth edition of the Hong Kong International Diamond, Gem and Pearl Show in the Asia World Expo to promote the high-quality pearls. Japan are uh, known as a reliable uh, source of supply for the pearls. We all, all dealers from Japan are gathered here. Uh, since uh, our Asia market, especially China market, has been continuously very important for us. Here, uh, pearls are all kind of a raw material. In convention center, we're going to have this uh, pearl jewelry show, where many uh, pearl, attractive pearl jewelries are shown. The annual Two Shows, Two Venues is the world's largest marketplace of its kind, an opportunity for exhibitors to reach out for regional and global markets. Hong Kong is the most important destination of the power exports, recorded two billion Hong Kong dollars in 2018. It is 80% of the Japanese total power export to the world. So it's meaning distribution center is a Hong Kong. It means hub. We need a diversity of the sales uh, destinations. Uh, in other words, portfolio is very important for Japan. So recently, uh, ASEAN countries or another Asian countries will be increasing the economy. That's why we want to spread to the market, not only China, but also the another Asian countries. Creativity and craftsmanship from across the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area were spotlighted in the jewelry show this year. With the debut of the Avenue of Jewelry creators, young jewelry designers from Hong Kong and mainland China to present their talents in jewelry, some with cutting-edge technology. All our designers, they have the very good collection. They have the setting, they have the making, also have gold jewelry, antique gold jewelry, and also have the uh, classic jewelry and the fine jewelry, and as well as the uh, AI and the VR for the jewelry. It is so helpful this year for our association. They create the, the armadillo for the designer. It's so important for them. The twin shows formed a platform for the industry to showcase the latest jewelry pieces. Thematic zones such as the Hall of Fame attracted famous global jewelry brands, while the Hall of Extraordinary gathered rare and valuable jewelry collections. Buyers' forum and networking activities provided opportunities for participants to exchange ideas and market intelligence. Held from February 26 to March 4, 2019, the two events attracted more than 4,600 exhibitors from 48 countries and regions, underlining Hong Kong's role as a global trading and sourcing hub for the jewelry industry.